look what we have here. This guy, do you see him? He's going to have a branding consultation for the WeWork people. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it here first. Branding consultations happening at WeWork. We're working on some really exciting things uh, for the members here to kind of get them into the flow of branding. How do they think about their website? How do they think about social? How do they think about the voice? How do they think about the future? Lots of exciting stuff happening right now. Lots of biz dev, lots of fun things. All right, guys, exciting moment in time. The king has arrived. Ray, say what's up to the vlog. What's up, guys? Ray is the newest member of A Life in Shorts, the man himself from the Dominican Republic. Dude, welcome to the team. Thank you. Thank we you. want to say the vlog. I'm excited, uh, you know, to share my talents with you, to learn from you, to learn from everybody, you know? It's an exciting time and exciting team. All right, we're on site, rocking and rolling, doing some beautiful imaging videos for an amazing poke restaurant. All right, just jammed out with the client. Love those guys, love their food, love their spirit. Off to do some branding consultations. We're doing a little brand consultation action. Free branding consultations here at the WeWork space. I'm gonna bring you inside a branding consultation with a woman named Sade, who does digital storytelling and photography. So all you creatives out there that are wondering how to tell your story and how to build a brand around that story, this will be for you. Thank you for having me. I'm so Real excited. Real pleasure. Sade, you are a rock star, lifestyle photographer, coach. What mother. else? Tell, mother. mother. I just I just met your daughter this week, who I'm completely, completely obsessed with. So I'm really happy. She loves you. First of all, I love her. she's never met someone that stooped down to her eye level and said, do you know your mom is one of the greatest people in this world? I had no idea that she remembered the, that she that. said that. She took it in processes, and when we got home, she was like, Mom, you're the best mom in the world. And I'm like, mm. she was like, and that guy remembered, and he knew. Wow. And I'm like, I'm surprised she remembered, you know? Yeah. And so, like, little stuff that you do, as simple as that, actually has a great effect. That's very sweet. Thanks for making me a rock star you already, mom. <laughs> I, you already are a rock star yeah, mom, but right. but it was really, I, I love her. That. No, I loved her. Oh, I, really I loved good. her. She's a very special child. My photography business actually started when she was born. Really? So, yeah. So I got a professional camera. I've always been into photography. Mm -hmm. I've always loved capturing um, pictures, living in Trinidad, starting when I was like 10. I bought my first, um, you know those roll, those film cameras yeah. that you have to roll it up and then, you know, it's disposable. Yep. I've always kept it as a secret. What? So I, um, well, I, I, I cherished taking pictures and seeing the outcome so much that I didn't want to share it. Mm. I also didn't think anybody cared about taking pictures of plants and landscapes. Mm. So I was like, yeah, nobody wants to see this. And when Adina was born, um, I had a reason to take a picture and mm -hmm. I took 20,000 her first year. Super special. Yeah. So I want to help you with your brand. Yeah. So my problem is how do you brand yourself with limited fun funding? So it's like I don't have much money, but I have a great mission. I have great people that I know, but how do I expand myself with a limited budget? <laughs> By using what resources you already do have which are time and equipment and talent and passion. So, you know, everybody everybody wants to think that money is the thing that you can use to expand. Right. It's like the, the, it's like the, the, the limited resource, that you, the, only, the, the exclusive resource we have. It's not true. It certainly makes things easier to expand. You can pay for Facebook advertising, you can buy more equipment, you can do all the build fancy websites. 
but what you already have is the talent and is the time. Now I know that you're a mother, but still, like there are so there are 24 hours in a day. Maybe you want to include your daughter in this. I just saw the video of her saying that she's also a photographer. Mm -hmm. Maybe that becomes a big part of your brand. Maybe you maybe and that becomes the time that you guys spend together, where you're actually shooting things and you're you know capturing moments and that 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 could become a very unique brand for you. Think about ways that you can stretch. You know do. Do a free event a month or a free event a week if you can do it. Yeah. And then use that and pitch to other places. I I have to say I agree. I've been having a vision of exactly what you said and you saying it is confirmation. So I looked on your Instagram right before you came down for the meeting and I think that you are such an eloquent speaker and you have such a nice personality. I think that a big part of the reason people will be drawn to you is the way that you speak and the way that you carry yourself and like there's no video on your Instagram. That's true. I don't know. Okay, so that here's another thing about videos. I have always been camera shy. Yeah. Believe it or not, I, I have. I'm breaking out of it. Adina actually helped me break out of it a few weeks ago because we was doing the video uh, for an, the Creator Award. So we did a video uh -huh. and she wanted to do it. So I yep. was like, okay, here, you can do it. Yep. And um, I actually broke free on that day from my camera shy personality. You should yeah. vlog and you should have Adina be the videographer of the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> she actually was the videographer of a few videos I did um, that, after. I think that would be cool. I think the other yeah. cool thing would be is to like vlog together. There's a couple things you can do. You can either put together a cool video of what you're doing as a, as a lifestyle photographer slash life coach and or, and I would do both, you could reach out to every single big mommy blog in the country and say, can I just write a piece for you once a week? And mm. that video or that piece of content has to be very, very tightly branded towards what you do. I think if you say I'm a life coach and then I document your journey mm -hmm. along the way with beautiful cinematography photography, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's a good you know, th th then, then your milestones when you sit down with them and talk about life coaching, your milestones are like so clear. Like six months from now, I want to be doing a video shoot with you at your top of Yosemite because that's your that's been your dream to climb that. Here's what I would do: mm -hmm. more video on Instagram, face the more camera. Video. Who is Shade? Okay. Number one. Number two, bring in Adina as much as you can mm -hmm. without feeling like you're like exploiting her. Um, she wants to. She do loves it. Honestly. She loves it. <laughs> and she's a natural. She's <laughs> such a natural. Um, then I would say video, then I would say point number three is you need to start partnering with people, distribution channels, mm -hmm. mommy blogs, mommy vloggers, mommy websites, mm -hmm. and you literally, <laughs> literally just reach out to them and say, my daughter and I do this mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. or I'm this life coach slash like because the idea of life coach and lifestyle photography I, I haven't actually ever heard of that so I think that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. So what you would say is like I have this very unique approach to life coaching. Because there are millions of life coaches, but mm -hmm. there, there, no one is actually documenting the process in beautiful cinematography from milestone moments. Milestone. And that's what you do. Mm -hmm. And so when you sit down with somebody for the first time, you sit down with Santa, you say, Santa, tell me about what are your six month goals. And then right. Santa says, my six month goals are, and then you create a plan. Maybe it's a five part plan or a 10 part plan. And along every single part of that five or 10 part plan, wow. you are literally capturing those moments. Every client yeah. gets a photo book. Every, every so what you get as a client book. is 10 hours of coaching with me per month. And you get 10, you get 100 HD photos that you can now use for your Instagram on That's your right. thing. Right, then you can get, and then I'm gonna turn that into a yeah. book. You can yeah. turn it on your LinkedIn mm -hmm. and then uh, you know, that, that's how I would start thinking about what you're offering. I would, I would do more packaging stuff. So there's two things I, I do right now. I do personalized story, photo storytelling, right? Which is what we just spoke yeah. about. And an, another passion of mine is women's empowerment. So I created this group of phenomenal women that come together every few months. And we have a section where it's group coaching. We do um, a lecture. We eat, drink, have fun, play music. We have a makeup artist on site. Cool. We have a motivational speaker on site. Cool. And oh, you went to this. You yeah, spoke at yeah, this. Yeah, she went. Yeah. And at the end, we have a massive photo shoot of every woman that attended. Fabulous, sexy, confident, and just having fun. And it's the most empowering thing 
I would use the bloggers to drive to that event. The other thing I would do is I would find 1,000 moms on Instagram that have good following, and I would offer to do a sort of mommy and me session, which is, you know, this could be a, a one, hour t one hour session with them, yeah. where you create some really amazing photos and you create, you know, you, you, I think you could really get mommy and me, like you get retainer packages, so every six months you come in and you do stuff. I could, I have had parents that ask me as well, so that's perfect. I would idea. DM these people as well, so yeah. like you, you're, you have what, 40,000? Yes. So you're a good, like you're a micro influencer. Yeah. And it, think about what you would want someone to say to you. So what would you, what would you feel comfortable with receiving in a DM? I think it sounds something like, I'm, I do this really exciting thing around goals and photography and mothers and their children. Um, I'm just curious, what are like three or four of your really big goals for, over the next court, over the next year with your child or with your career or with whatever? And then whatever they answer those questions, whatever the answer to that question is, then you make them a proposal. Let them tell you what they want to be documenting. Yeah. And then, and then come back to them and say, like, let me do that for you. But I, I would say, for you, I would find three influencers that can shout you out mm -hmm. about Mommy and Me. Then I would say, what, what kind of stuff do you have I'm coming excited. up? And I would learn yeah. that you have an event coming up in two months. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, I'm going to be at that event shooting it. Mm -hmm. And then I would find the third thing, and then I would give you... So now you have three deliverables, and I would just say, all of these services, you know, for 10 hours a month, for X amount of photos, for this, the, these these three, four, five deliverables will be this price. Are you right. interested? Do that with a thousand people. Mm -hmm. Two or three of them will say yes to yeah. two or three thousand dollar packages per month. And now you basically just created a seventy-two thousand dollar year business for yourself. Just DMing people. That is the last piece of my puzzle. Thank yeah. you so much, Boom. Brian. That's how we do it. <laughs> Shade. Amazing. Shade. Follow this woman. She's a rock star.